To answer this question, if we look at Egyptian mysticism or paganism, we will know that with the Egyptian cultures or Egyptian worship of these false gods with the lower G, aka demons, that it comes from the days of old. Because even in the Bible, in the Old Testament, it speaks about worship, the Egyptians worshipping these gods with the lower G. Okay? So Ra is known as the creator in Egyptian mysticism. No prizes for guessing who that demon copycats. It is known in Egyptian mysticism that Ra created everything, the moon, the sun, the skies, the animals, everything. It is also known in Egyptian mysticism that Ra created other gods from himself. Gods like Molech, like Baal, like Nubis, the god of the dead. So, if we take this and we reference it to the Almighty Creator, we see a direct coloration of what Satan does. He copies and twists everything. That is who Ra is. In Egyptian mysticism, he's known as the Creator. Married to Isis, I'm going to show you quickly a picture of Ra. This is a picture of Ra. Notice on its head is a sun and a snake around the sun. Notice the head of Ra is an eagle and notice what is in its hands, a staff and in the other hand is that cross but the top loop is called a tear. So the tear is the continuation or reincarnation of life. All of these symbols we know is satanic symbols. If you are dreaming of this God, I would take it very seriously if I was you. Many, many, many demons fall under this God. This is a powerful principality. Demons that we know, like Moloch, like Baal, like Nubis, fall a lower tier under this. Many, many subsections of the occult, subsections of mysticism, like Wicca, like New Age, like Black Magic, fall under this principality, and they don't even know it. So if you are dreaming of an Egyptian principality like Ra or Isis or any of those gods that were worshipped in paganism. There is most likely a covenant somewhere and I am putting my money on the fact that there could be a covenant in your bloodline made in previous generations either in pagan worship or sacrifice. Ask the Holy Spirit in prayer and fasting and break that curse. This is serious.